comunidad de Xbox Live, me acompaña Gabo Shock, yo soy Moblina y en esta ocasión estamos a punto de entrevistar a Megan Marie de Crystal Dynamics y bueno, vamos a preguntarle acerca de este super lanzamiento Tomb Raider. How are you, Megan? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. I'm quite partial to the new upgrade mechanics in the game. I really like the ability to um, kind of empower Lara in whatever way I choose. So I like a lot of the um, kind of scrappy melee moves. One of my favorites is this move that lets you kind of duck down and grab a handful of dirt and then throw it in an enemy's eye. So I like stuff like that that lets me kind of be like a scrappy fighter. Yeah, I think with classic Lara Croft, like especially women also really enjoyed her. They 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 wanted to be like her. I mean, before I wanted to work in the industry, I just like wanted to be Lara Croft when I was a young teenager. And I think that the cool thing about our new Lara is that she's she's human. She's flawed. She's not perfect. She's incredible. I mean, she's an incredible character. She's intelligent and ambitious and adventurous and witty and all of these things, but she's also, you know, unsure of herself at times and she's she's afraid at times. But what I think where she's really inspirational is that she pushes through that fear. So that's like true bravery because there's fear involved. You know, she pushes through that barrier and and um I think that's something that's really aspirational and I actually think it's 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 inspirational not just to females but also to males because I feel like now we can relate to her on that basic human level and I think that that's a really cool thing. <laughs> It's a really exciting opportunity because we didn't want to just challenge what people think of Tomb Raider. We wanted to challenge what we as a studio pursue in our games. So, um, uh, you know, after we finished the Legend Anniversary Underworld Trilogy, we took the time and stopped and reevaluated where we wanted to take the franchise. But in that, in that middle space, we did what we call our Pixar short, which was the short experimental title, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. And that really let us you know, try things, lots of things. I mean, like co-op, arcade game, downloadable title, isometric view, I mean, totally different um, qualities than what people are used to in a Tomb Raider game. And people liked playing Tomb Raider together. So that was really one of the catalysts into deciding to add multiplayer. The conundrum was that we weren't willing to split our resources because Tomb Raider, it's a single player experience, a story is, is what you're going to get Tomb Raider for. But we knew that we could do something really cool with multiplayer. So it worked out perfectly that our sister studio at IDOS Montreal, um, they wanted to take on the challenge. And so we didn't have to divert our resources. They were already familiar with our engine because of their work on Deus Ex. So it was a perfect fit. And the other reason is that uh, We work so hard to make the, char the island a character itself. So we have all these awesome characters in the single player story, but the island itself is just this incredible, kind of threatening, uh, really diverse setting. And so we feel like people are going to want to continue their experience with the island and on the island and in this struggle with the Solari versus the survivors after the game finishes. So this is going to allow you to really like extend your experience. So I'm looking forward to it. You can do it, Laura, after all. You're a croft. Thank you guys so much for your support throughout the years. I really hope you love this new Lara and Tomb Raider as much as you have in the past. Bueno, pues muchas gracias amigos de Xbox Live. Thank you so much, Megan. It has been a pleasure. Y nosotros nos vemos a la próxima. Yo soy Moblina. Yo Gabo Choc. Adiós. Mm -hmm. <laughs>